This is John chapter 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kadash, the honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity. And, uh, I was just sitting back and, um, you know, thinking about the promise, man, that's, um, been promised to, uh, our nation, all right? You know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, the fathers, all right? And that's the, uh, the glory of the kingdom, you know? And also I was, um, you know, thinking about, you know, how Yahweh Bashem Shah is gonna let us get revenge on our enemies, man. All right, and um, you know, with with uh with us uh having spiritual powers, having uh new bodies, basically being uh programmed to where we can't sin. You know, we're gonna we're gonna live forever, and we're gonna have power to do things to our enemies that um some would, would, would deem impossible. You know what I mean? We're going to be able to bend time, bend reality, and we're going to be able to implement the desires of Yahweh Bashimi Shah, which are our, which are our desires as well upon the heathen, man. Okay? In other words, we're going to literally, we're going to completely fuck these damn heathens up, man. All right, and we and we have a whole eternity to do it, man. See, that's one thing Esau cannot buy. He can't buy himself time, man. As the scripture says, uh, Yahweh Shemesh pointed his bounds that he cannot pass, cannot pass, and he's at his uh, he's at his end, man. You know, his power is 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 waning. Nobody's really respecting him in the world. He's not feared, okay, and <clears throat> you know. Because of this, he's going to lash out, you know, and he's going to, um, he's going to bite the bait, so to speak, man, you know, he's going to try to, uh, you know, come for the elect, um, which is a trap unto him, okay, it's a snare unto him, you know, because when you come for the elect, that's when you how about Shemir al Shah is going to um, come deal with you. But we're going to have power to do things to this devil through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai that nobody has ever done on earth. Okay? And we're going to have eternity, man. You know, we're going to have forever. So, you know, we don't really, we're, we're, in a, we're, we're not in a mindset that we need to rush to do anything, you know? We're not missing anything, you know? You don't need to rush to do anything. You don't need to. You, there's, we have eternity. We have forever. All right. You know. Uh, only only urgency that we have is is hastening the day. Okay. All right. Hastening the day of the coming of the Lord. That's the only urgency. And uh. <sighs> You know, hasting to repent, hasting to, um, um, you know, turn to the Lord. That's the only haste we're making. But as far as like, you know, hasting to do things that are worldly, that you know, you no know, having a bucket list or anything like that. We don't. We're not of that mind because we know that, um, as Yahweh Shai said, in my Father's house are many mansions, man. All right, he he's going. He went to prepare a place for us, uh, you know, which is the entire creation. The entire creation is about to be opened up to us. The entire creation is going to be opened up to the elect, man. The entire creation is going to be our playground, you know. And the scripture says, "I have not seen, nor ears have heard." So, you know, as much imagination, as much imagining we could do, with, you know. Um, as it says in the Baruch, uh, Baruch you know, um, that he will far succeed, man. He will far exceed. 
So he's going to far exceed our expectations, man. Anything we can think of or dream of, he's going to outdo us. And uh, as scripture says, we shall meditate terror. So we meditate terror upon our enemies. But we know that Yahweh Shemi Ashai is going to um, give us the download. As scripture says, they shall do according to my anger and according to my fury. All right. So what we're going to be pro programmed to be... Um, uh, just um, the, the 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 ultimate weapon. All right, we're gonna know uh, the best way to torture somebody. You know, we're gonna be able to bend time, bend reality, play with people's minds, make them see scenarios. You know, like me personally, like I I I I, I envision um. You know, messing with Esau's mind and making him think he's back uh, uh, in Babylon, man. <laughs> you know, oppressing me. Or maybe an Edomite did some shit to me, you know, and I'm, I'm going to bring him back to that moment, man. And then I'm going to fuck his ass up, man. <laughs> you know? So we're going we're gonna to control time. We're going to co control creation itself, man. And we have eternity. We have forever, man. You know, so there's no rush. You know, we don't need to, um, you know, because you get that spirit where you just want your lick back from these devils, man. You know, but we're not in that time right now. You know, that that's Cain. We can't touch Cain. All right. The Lord set that mark on Cain to know what nobody can't fuck with him right now. But we're coming into a time where hey, that, that, that hedge of protection is leaving him, man. You know, you look on World Star and shit. You see Jake just beating the fuck out of a random Edomite man, and, and nobody's doing anything but watching, man. You know, you got Jake with, uh, with with Esau's women. Okay, this dude's going down, man. And it's it, it, it's never gonna go back to the way it was, man. You know, Esau he has just dreams of go, going back into a day where he could just. Public, publicly lynch a nigga, man. But it ain't happening no more. That strength is gone. That time is gone. And as the days go by, you know, he's realizing that his America is gone, man, and that he's a slave now. All right? You know? Reminds me of this song called Viva La Vida by uh, Coldplay. You know? And that, that entire song is Esau lamenting that his kingdom is gone, that his power is gone, you know? And it's all downhill from here, man. It's all it's only going to get worse for this devil, man. You know, the, the walls are closing in on him, man, you know? So, and we're looking for, see, the, the, these people in this world, they, they have the mindset that they want things to go back to the way they were, so-called normal, right? Which the, this, there was nothing normal about this place ever. I don't know what the hell that means, but, <clears throat> you know, they have dreams of this this kingdom, um, you know, coming back to its firm, former glory. And the scripture says that they that look out their windows be darkened, man. So they're going to be looking... To the future and they're not gonna see a future man and these these people are gonna want to off themselves man but we have a lively hope as the scripture says man because we're looking to, towards the kingdom man we're looking towards eternity man you know, our hopes aren't in this place man you know <laughs> and we really look look forward to getting our hands on you esau that's one of the one of the um as the scripture says uh, this honor have all his saints, you know, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. We're looking forward to breaking you like a potter's vessel, man. We're looking forward to that, man. You know, we're looking forward to that, to the, to the day we can get our hands on you, man. And we're going to fuck you up beyond any recognition at all. Nothing on earth no one will be as fucked up. No one has ever been as fucked up as you're about to be. Okay? I'm not even going to let you motherfuckers rest. I'm going to give you scenarios in your mind. I'm going to enter your brain. 
okay? For the little hour I do let you sleep, okay? You're gonna, you're not gonna even really get sleep. You're not gonna get rest, okay? That foot is gonna, that proverbial foot is gonna be in your ass at all times, man. Okay? Even on the uh, the Shabbat, you know, of course you're gonna be able to rest on the Shabbat, but I'm gonna be fucking with your mind, man. All right? I'm gonna send demons and, 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 and spirits to fuck your mind all, all the way over, man. And you'll be glad to wake up and go to, and go and go in the cotton field, man. All right? Uh, I'm gonna be worse than Freddy Krueger on your ass, man. You know? Bring you back to all the scenarios of, of every lifetime or anything you motherfuckers ever did to me, man. And in those scenarios, it's gonna switch to me put fucking you up, man. You know? So this is just the type of fun we're gonna get to have with Esau, man. I look forward to doing that, man. All right? You know? The hell with this place, man. I don't care about this place. We don't care about this place, man. We're looking to the kingdom, man. We're looking to our rest and, and, the, and the fucking crush our enemies, man. Torture them beyond any ima human imagination, man. Because only the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh can invent the type of things that are about to happen to you, Esau. But yeah, that's my lesson. Hope it was edifying. Um, Shalom and uh, Bible Ball.